Classroom activity 47. Things in common. Place the students into pairs. Their goal is to find out some interesting things that they have in common with their partner. So they can talk about hobbies, experiences, places they've been, things they've done, things about their lives, their families. They should find three interesting things that they have in common. Once they are done, they can share that with the class. Another way you can do it is by building a Venn diagram of things that one student does that's unique to them and another student. And then in the middle, you can place things they have in common. You can even put the students into groups of three so that you know what they have in common, all of them, or what they have in common with one or the other. This is a good activity because we should celebrate the things we have in common and not just focus on the differences. The students can make friends and they can get closer with these things that they have in common. Classroom activity 48. Secret word. Students have to make a simple presentation on an easy topic, but they have to add an interesting word. First, ask the students to write down some ideas for topics. It could be food, sports, hobbies, anything simple. And they write it down on a piece of paper. Then, ask your students to look up an interesting word. For example, you can write down superficial and then let the student write down their name too. You could also give the students words that they have to add in there if you don't think they can do it by themselves. You take these topics and you take these secret words, you hide them, and then you hand them out to the students. Each student should prepare a short one or two minute presentation or speech on the topic, but they have to hide the secret word inside the speech. Then, they present their speeches to the class. Once they are done, the other students have to nominate some words which they think are the secret word. That means that they have to listen intently to find out what words sound a little bit out of place. As the teacher, you write the nominated words on the board and the class has to vote. If they pick the wrong word, then the presenter wins. This is great because students can practice doing presentations and they don't feel that stressed about it because they focus on the secret word they have to hide. There are many strategies they can use. They can hide it within the topic or they can use many different words to try and confuse the class. This is a really fun activity and it really gets the best out of your students when they have to practice for presentations or speeches.